Hello and welcome to our Inspire Quick Guide series. The following tutorial will cover the various properties associated with geometric features. We will look at nominal creation, editing properties for multiple features, and feature construction methods. We begin with a file where a plane and three circles have been measured with the portable arm. Double click on circle one in the tree and the properties panel will appear to the right of the application. Click on the fit graph in the geometry fit section and hover over a point to see its error. To delete a point, click it and press the delete key. Note that the fit will automatically recalculate. To visually represent the error, turn on vectors by checking the box in the heading of the vector section. To add a nominal circle for comparison, expand the nominal section and select manual entry to input the design coordinates. In the position row of the geometry table section, enter the center point coordinates in X, Y, and Z for the circle and rotate the orientation if needed. In the details table, set the diameter and note that the radius automatically updates. To change the properties of multiple features of the same type simultaneously, such as two circles, click on the first one in the tree, hold down control, and select the second one. Notice the top of the properties panel now displays two items in parentheses. Set the nominal as from measured to create design circles using the location of the actual data. Double click on one of the circles to edit its individual properties and change the location to match the design. You can change the rounding value in the application settings under default units. Let's say that we now want to construct a line between two circle centers. Select the line feature, navigate to construction method, and choose fit to points. In the input section, add the two circles, press enter, and Inspire will generate a line from one circle center point to the other. Now let's change the construction method to between point and planar. Change the inputs by first deleting the circles from the list and adding a circle and a plane. Observe the appearance of a line through the center point of the circle along the normal direction of the plane. Discover all the construction methods at your disposal, which vary by feature type by clicking on the drop-down menu. Another popular construction type is an offset plane. Add a plane feature, open up its properties, and then change the construction method to an offset plane. Add plane one to the input, and enter the offset in the plane offset box of the geometry fit section. As shown here, Inspire solves equations for you and can even convert fractions to decimals as well as perform unit conversion. Finally, let's take a look at the tree organization. By expanding the features, we can see that each one has at least an input bucket, an actuals, and a nominal. The input bucket contains all of the points and or objects used to compute its geometry. If a geometric feature is projected to a plane, that projected plane will be contained within the input bucket. Show and hide objects with ease by clicking the eye along the right side of the tree. Select multiple objects by pressing Ctrl while clicking each one. Press the Delete key to erase them from the input bucket. To copy objects and utilize them to compute another feature, such as a line from a circle and a plane, press the Alt key while clicking and dragging them into the correct input bucket. Thank you for watching. For more information, please contact discoverinspire.com.